This smartphone tripod can do so much more than you think. In this video, you will learn how to get the most out of the Joby Grip Tight One smartphone tripod. This video is not sponsored. I bought the Joby Grip Tight One myself originally because I wanted to record my stand up comedy shows, but since then, I have used it for so many other applications as well, and we're gonna cover many of them in this video. Here's how to set it up. Use the edge of your smartphone to pull up the clamp and your smartphone will snap into place. And now you got yourself a nice selfie stick. This is actually what I use if I want to record handheld video with my smartphone because the tripod reduces vibrations and gives me a more stable shot for video. Next, let's turn this into a proper tripod. All you have to do is separate the legs right there and then you can place this on a table or any other stable surface and you have yourself a wonderful mobile tripod. But the surface does not have to be perfectly horizontal. Each of these legs adjusts individually and that means that you can place this on a surface that is sloped or uneven. For example, if you're out in nature, you could place this on the ground or on a rock. My most common use of this tripod on a table is in my hybrid meetings, where I use a phone to add a second camera so that the online participants can see all of the in-room participants. Next, these three legs, or arms perhaps, they also bend. And that means that you can attach the Grip Tight One to almost anything by grabbing it. For example, if you're using your phone for video conferencing, it is important to have it at eye level. And one way you can use the Grip Tight One is to grab the back of a chair on the opposite side of the table. Here's another example from my hybrid meeting. I used the Grip Tight One to grab the top of this music stand and in this version of the setup, the phone functioned as the primary camera for the speaker. Last year, I did a live stream outdoors with my phone and I used the Grip Tight One to grab this railing and this was the basis of my outdoor live streaming setup. The next feature that you may not know of is that this top part here, you can actually unscrew it and use it as an independent phone clamp. Now that I have separated the clamp from the tripod, I can once again pop my phone in there. And now I have an independent mobile phone clamp. What can I do with it? Well, at the bottom here, there is a tripod mount. So I could actually mount this now on my standard camera tripod or on one of my light tripods. That gives me a lot of extra flexibility on how I want to use the clamp for my phone. But that's not all. If you look at the clamp here, it is actually horizontal. And that means that I can place this on a table. So now the clamp has turned into an independent table stand and I can put my phone just standing on the table. But what about the rest of the tripod? Can I still do something with this even though it doesn't have the clamp currently attached? Well, absolutely. The top here is a standard quarter inch mounting thread and that means that I could mount something else to this tripod as well. For example, if I have a light that doesn't weigh too much, I could mount it on here or I could mount another smartphone clamp like this one. I can just screw it in there and this will give me a lot more options when it comes to what I can mount on my tripod. And this particular smartphone mount, it also has a thread on that side. So if I wanted to mount it in a different direction, I could also do that. All because it has a standard mounting mechanism. I can highly recommend the Joby Grip Tight One. I bring it with me everywhere when I'm recording comedy shows, when I'm traveling and in my hybrid meetings. If I can only bring with me one piece of video gear, it's going to be the Joby Grip Tight One. Learn more about availability and pricing with the link in the video description. For more hybrid meeting tips, click or tap the screen right here. In that playlist, I share my best tips about audio, video, and inclusion in hybrid meetings. 